Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but welcome back to the vlog. I wanted to give you a quick update on our renovation projects. If you've been following along, I'm actually partnering up with European Bath here in Las Vegas for a kitchen and master bath renovation. And I have a confession to make. I kind of made a newbie mistake, okay? I fell in love with an Italian Pionazzo marble. And I was so caught up in having that marble that I didn't measure my space like to the T. I measured the countertops, I measured like the perimeter, but I didn't really measure the backsplash area. So our backsplash area is actually quite small and the house is so messy and I'll get into that in a little bit. Hi Marble. Hello. We purchased the marble, we ordered it, and there's not enough for a backsplash. <laughs> And when I heard that, I basically just freaked out. Like, I was like, what are we gonna do? We already got these slabs. The whole point was to make it like a very luxurious kitchen. And because our space is small, I kind of wanted to go all out on the countertops. So I had to get a little creative with the backsplash options because since it is a small area, I want it to be like thoughtfully designed and have that visual impact. And I have to give a big shout out to um, Kyle over at European Bath because he has been ordering me samples. So here are some samples of potential backsplash options. Now, I really would like to get a marble backsplash. It might not be possible because the marble I chose is actually being discontinued by um, Walker Zanger and I only had those slabs. Um, so, Kyle ordered some porcelain tile that looked like marble and we're gonna hold it up next to Pionazzo and just to see what it would look like. This has a little bit of gray in it, which Pionazzo has, and then this sample has more of like a brown, almost like violet color, so I don't know if that's gonna work. And then, I also had this idea of doing a fluted backsplash, which could be really, really dope. The fluted backsplash, I feel like will give it such a high-end and designer look to it. So this piece over here is actually a fluted Calcutta Gold marble. She is expensive. But over here, we have more of like a, it's a fluted tile, and this is what it looks like when it's all together, which actually, hey! Jesus, marble! What happened? Did you guys hear that? He literally just ran into the door and slammed into, are you okay? Let me see your face. Let me see. Okay, you look fine. This is a little bit more um, of an affordable option, and let me show you actually like this. Okay, that looks so dope. Um, so either way, I feel like this is a very like creative um, solution to my problem. Deep down, I want to get the marble, but it's just, it's a lot of money, you guys, and this is not our forever home by any means. So another thing that I want to talk to you about are my ceilings. Um, we actually had a drywall guy come in and redo all of our ceilings. We used to have that nasty popcorn tile in here and it's looking so good, you guys. He's actually gonna come in to clean up those lines. You see how like it's a slightly different color? My walls are actually more like a gray beige and the ceiling color is gonna be, it, well, it is like a flat white. Question for you. My house is old and it has these like random niches up up top and those decor pieces I've had for like a year and a half. I'm thinking of just like taking it down. I feel like it doesn't really match my style anymore. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if I should just take those down and leave it blank. He also did the hallway in the bathroom area and my bedroom which is a complete mess right now but 
we are going to be switching the light fixture in here into something a little bit different but even here it's like such a big difference you would know like if you have popcorn ceiling or anything textured in your walls you would know the pain like it's just not cute <laughs> This is like the current state of most of the flooring right now because of all of the um, ceiling work we're doing. Now, let me show you. My studio is a disaster and he is smoothing out the ceilings, but he is also smoothing out the walls. Here, no, marble, do not come in here. He's gonna smooth out the walls. It used to have like this orange peel texture and I want him to smooth it out. So I have plans on putting like furniture here, changing out the pendant and doing a little decor vignette over here. Okay, let's go you guys. Definitely need some Starbies. I have not eaten anything yet. So I need to get like an almond croissant, a little drink, okay. So I don't know if Starbies changed their croissant recently because it has like a lot more filling inside and it's so good. Mm. Oh my God. I mean, look at all of that almond filling. It's so yummy. We just made it to the stone yard. I'm here with Kyle. We are looking now at the Pionazzo slab and it's right over here. I actually forgot how beautiful this thing is. Like, it is gorgeous. So, the options that we're looking at is going porcelain for the backsplash or the fluted option. Um, here's option number one, which is a porcelain. And if you kind of look at the colors, keep in mind, like, this is going to be on a countertop, so it's flat, and this will be leaning up against a wall. And my backsplash is not big by any means. But the color tones, you can see, like, there's actually a lot of this gray happening on Pionazzo, even like in this area. Um, obviously, it's not gonna be like an exact because Pionazzo is a natural stone. Um, the fluted marble, also beautiful, but I think it's just gonna be a little too much. And then we have the fluted tile over here. <laughs> You guys, I need your help. You have to comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm really wanting it to look either uniformed with the porcelain or doing a statement with the fluted tile options. I just made it to Sherwin-Williams. I actually need to get a um, gallon of paint for the touch-ups on my walls. Here's my wall sample. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going. No control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how you're The nice gentleman just took my swatch. He gave me a discount because I signed up. <laughs> Who else loves signing up for things, you guys? They gave me like 30% off to sign up for their little email list, which, I mean, I can't be mad at a 30% off, right? Am I right? Baby, give me a sign. Hello. Hello, Chinji. Hello, Marble. Hello. Okay, I'll let you out. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello, Chinji. Hello. Okay, okay. Missed you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. Everybody go potty. Wow, the bedroom is such a mess, but it looks like I am meeting my mom at Home Goods. She baked some macarons. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> oh, she made me some macarons, you guys. She made some for Valentine's Day, and it was so good. You guys, it is cold out today. I like it, though. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this can't resist to be a little risky. Oh my gosh, look at this bus. They are going in with the busts. Um looks a little cheapy though, but kind of cool. What else? What else? Oh, here's another little guy. I like him. <gasps> look at that. Is that a cow? A bull? Okay, this home goods is like stuck. They have some stuff in here. Um, that's an interesting little bowl, if you have coastal kind of decor. And ooh, look at this little ceramic. Hmm, 
Okay, I'm not really like in the market for decor. Oh, but look at these poofs. That's cute. I like that. Yeah. That's pretty. Hmm. I'm not seeing what I was looking for. My friend Hannah has this like carved um, African style mirror, but oh my gosh. Look at this one though. Oh, it's cracked. It's huge. Talk about a selfie moment. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, I like that. <laughs> um, okay. Let me see what else they have. Go for it because I want you close. I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering. You know, like olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil there. That's kind of cute. I like yeah, the top part. Because it's easy to take off. Oh. Yeah. This could be cute, like, even for detergent. Yeah. Does it say olive oil? Oh, no, it doesn't. It's super cute. Yeah. And then, um, for like a regular oil. Yeah. Do they have like a different color? Mm, There's a clear one. Oh, they okay. have a white one. A white one. Um, okay. Oh, but it's big. Oh. Yeah. It's not as nice. Yeah, there's only one more left. Okay. I and mean, if you want it. No. No. <laughs> okay. I did find a lavender candle. It smells so good. Mm. You know, I love a good lavender scent. It's um, only $14.99. Mm. <laughs> Might be good for me. They have another one actually. For my sleep? Yeah. You know? yeah. Do you need some Ray Dunn pepper? <laughs> <laughs> How cute that is. It's Ray Dunn. Oh dear God. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> it says happy and pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Okay. Um, hold on. I don't think I need anything else, you guys. I have to buy um, dinner for Andrew and I, so let's see. I don't see anything else. Oh my gosh, the old me would totally get something like that. Oh, look at those little bar stools. You guys, this store is like fully stocked with stuff. Wow, okay. That's cool. I kinda like that little marble side table. I'm just like not vibing with the home goods stuff right now. Anyone else in the same boat? I don't know. Anything to be in your arms again. So can I the fiesta? Did it have seasick? Not that I saw, so I, I figured this was a hi Gingy. I mean this is more than enough food. No, I know. I was gonna get large and I was like maybe not. No, nah, but we never eat that much. Yeah, I feel like we haven't eaten Filipino food in a while though. He's up again. Marble, no! <laughs> you look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Okay, can we put our show on? We've been watching Lost on, is it on Hulu, babe? Mm. It's on Hulu. I've seen it before like years ago and I remember like it was so good. Andrew's never seen it so The funny thing is like I actually don't remember a lot of what happened in the show Okay, what do you think about that guy that they saw inside the hatch? Do you think he's part of like the experiment or he's like the mastermind of the experiment? Oh my gosh, my mom's macarons you guys She went in on these like not gonna lie. This is so good. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Our drywall guy is here working on the house, the studio, the sofa is, <laughs> is flipped over. He actually um, did touch ups on the corners, but I completely forgot that I haven't even showed you some of the plumbing and faucets that we're using. So we are actually working with Brizo for the plumbing and this is just one of the items. Oh my God, that looks so good. Marble, doesn't that look good? Hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry, it's a little noisy out there. He's working on um, 
on the stuff, but this is going to be for the bathroom. So we actually chose a polished brass and oh my God, it looks stunning, you guys. This feels so solid and Thank you so much to Brizo and European Bath for sending this over. I'm doing a lot of honed and matte finishes for like countertops, backsplash, because I kind of want it to have that old world feel and I want to juxtapose it with a shiny, like polished um, finish. That way, I'm always thinking about that yin and yang effect when I'm designing any vignette, any space. I actually really wanted to make the kitchen like super like old world, but I feel like this this house is just like not the place to do that. Like we're not changing the facade of the cabinetry. We're just kind of upgrading what we have. So for the kitchen faucet, we actually went for something that looks a bit more modern, maybe even like industrial. <laughs> but the silhouette actually has kind of that old world feel. So it's really cool. I'm excited to receive that. So I just got ready. I am off to the design center to go meet Kyle. And we're also going to meet another special brand rep that hopefully we might be working with for the master bathroom project. I thought I'd share with you what I'm wearing today because I feel like it's kind of cute. I have a Philip Lim oversized blazer. Now what I love about this is the princess darts that give it like this really stunning silhouette. Um, underneath I have this Target tank top, which I have in every color, I'll link it for you, it's my fave. This stone bag is kind of an affordable luxury brand. My pants, you guys, are from Zara, they are so good. I love a straight cut fit and these leather shoes, these boots, are from Dries Van Noten, but I thought I'd dress up a little bit. <laughs> needs to be built underneath, right? It's just like, we have to measure it. Yeah, so basically, um, you can't really see. So, it's important to know the dimension of the inside of the lower cabinet. Okay. So that we can make sure the sink Got will um, sit on top of those two ledges. So I don't know if I wanna do, I don't know if that would be too busy with like that fluted detail or do something like, like more clean. yeah, I don't know, but I feel like, I don't like things that's just like plain, you know? Right. <laughs> oh my God, this one's like amazing. I mean, I feel like that isn't so bad. Cause I feel like the faucet too has like, yeah, that detail where it has like that texture okay. or, oh, I was looking at this too. I mean, this is a little more simple, but yeah, still has like a rounded simple. edge. I just had an awesome meeting with Kyle and Paula from MTI Baths. We're trying to work on a little project together, hopefully for the master bathroom, but we are getting close, everybody. We're getting so close on working on the kitchen. Like, I just want to rip things out already, but hopefully, hopefully soon we'll start filming and showing you the progress of the kitchen. Make sure you are following along because throughout this renovation project, I'm gonna be sharing prices, resources, and as always, you can go ahead and contact European Bath for a discount on plumbing, faucets, bathtubs, even kitchen cabinetry. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sound off in the comments down below and help me choose my backsplash. Should I do fluted tile or the marble porcelain? Let me know. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.